Hi friends I'm Ivy, today I talk about overusing painkillers and sedatives. It's not too late to reverse your worst habits, overusing painkillers and sedatives, and immediately start living a happier, healthier life. Overusing painkillers and sedatives. Why it's dangerous, when they're not taken properly, long-term habitual use can cause more problems than it solves. Using drugs like ibuprofen or aspirin for arthritis or muscle pain can over time increase your risk for ulcers, gastrointestinal bleeding, high blood pressure, and heart attacks. Calming drugs and sleeping pills can leave you feeling confused and prone to stumbling and falling if you take them in higher than prescribed doses. Since they make you feel good, you may want to keep on taking them, turning them into a habit or addiction before you you know it. Why you should stop, new pain relief strategies can ease muscle, joint, and head pain with fewer pills and side effects. Kicking the sedative and prescription pain pill habit is possible with commitment and support, and once the pill taking has ceased, your body will quickly rebound from their effects. You'll spend less money on medications. You may cut your risk for heart and high blood pressure problems as well as gastrointestinal ulcers and bleeding. You'll also be more alert and enjoy the satisfaction of knowing that you've beaten a drug dependency. Reverse the habit, switch to acetaminophen for chronic pain, it doesn't cause stomach irritation, and doesn't raise blood pressure like aspirin and ibuprofen. Save ibuprofen for flare-ups of severe, short-term pain. It's usually safe for up to 10 days, but not more. For frequent headaches see your doctor, migraines can be stopped quickly with the right medication. Check out alternate pain relief strategies, weight loss, exercise, stress relief and avoiding triggers can help. Don't take habit foaming drugs for over 4 months, challenge your doctors when they want to put you on pain, mood, or sleeping medication long term if you think you'll be susceptible to addiction particularly if the drugs work well. Watch for hidden signs, clues you're taking too much of a tranquilizer include memory loss, excess sleepiness, feeling unresponsive and falling frequently. Get help if you can't stop, there's no shame in asking for help from family members, friends, or your doctor. Thanks to all of you who are watching me, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Please subscribe to my channel. And please stay tuned for more.